Hey, what's going on, Solar Family? How are you? It's James here. Hopefully, you're doing amazing. And in this video, I want to go over what's a dealer fee and who pays for the dealer fee. Because I honestly feel there's a big misconception out there regarding this topic, and I want to clear it all up for you. But before I dive into it, if you haven't scheduled your free solar strategy call yet, especially if you want to get in solar, or maybe you already are in solar and you want to learn how to sell solar virtually in your pajamas, or maybe you're a roofing or HVAC contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business, make sure you book your free solar strategy call. It's going to be a pop-up right above this video. So I'm going to dive right into it. So before I dive into it, let me go over what a dealer fee is first. So a dealer fee is basically the fees that are paid to the bank to finance the solar system, okay? So basically, it's the same exact thing if you're you know, buying a car or whatnot, right? There are fees involved to finance that car that we don't necessarily see, but there are fees involved to finance that vehicle, for example. Let me go over the details so you understand like what a dealer fee is, how it's calculated in your commission, who pays the dealer fees or whatnot, right? So. A dealer fee, the percentage of the dealer fee, which is pretty freaking insane right now, can range from 10% all the way up to 30% as of October 2022. And depending on when you're watching this video, it can be a little bit less, it can be a little bit more. So basically, it's 10 to 30% of the cost of the system. So let me give you an example. So for example, if the system costs $50,000, and it's pretty common to have a $50,000 solar system, and let's go in a high range of a 30% dealer fee. So that means the total dealer fee, it's $15,000. I know you probably fell off your chair right now. You're like, what? 15 grand, yes, this is what we're dealing with right now as far as dealer fees. You may not like it like I do. Obviously, we need the banks to finance the system, but again, this is what we're dealing with right now, right? So it can range from 10 to 30%, and you're probably asking yourself, why is there a wide range? It all depends on the finance companies. It all depends on the interest rate that you're choosing. It all also depends on the term right? The length of the loan. The shorter the, the term of the loan, the higher the interest rate will be. And the longer the term of the loan, the lower the interest rate, the higher the dealer fee will be, okay? So it kind of teeters back and forth there, right? So let me dive in a little bit deeper now on who pays the dealer fees. So the dealer fees are paid by the homeowner. And let me repeat myself again, because this is one big misconception that a lot of new reps go through. They're wondering like, who pays the fees? Do I pay for the fees? As you can see for this example, that's $15,000. So the answer to that question, who pays the dealer fees, is the homeowner, okay? The homeowner pays for the dealer fees. And I know it's pretty insane, but again, the homeowner pays for the dealer fees. So let me break this down for you as far as the total price per watt, okay? and if you don't know what a red line is, make sure you watch my other videos as far as the red line, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over it here. So for example, if your red line is $2.50 a watt, and that's an example, and your margins, this is your profit, is a dollar per watt, okay? And that's the sweet spot, ideally, uh, you know, as far as margins, that's just a little tip there. Obviously, you can't always be like that, but again, that's just, ideally where you want to be. And for example, a 30% dealer fee can range up to about a dollar 20 a watt. Okay. I don't know the exact math there, but again, it's somewhere around there. So if I was to add this up, that means the total price per watt for the homeowner is basically four dollars and seventy cents total price per watt and keep in mind that i didn't add any adders here okay 
If you don't know what an adder is, that's another video that I made as well. But keep in mind, an adder is not added to every single deal, okay? That's why I didn't want to add it here. This is a best case situation without an adder. And if we had to add on an adder, obviously the total price per watt is gonna increase. So for example, if I had to upgrade the main panel, that would be an adder. If I had to replace the roof, if I had to do trenching, things of that nature, that would be an adder. It's not on every single job, but this is a perfect case scenario when there's not an adder. So basically, to answer the question, who pays for the dealer fee? The homeowner pays for the dealer fees. This is how it's broken down as far as price per watt, okay? As you can see, right here, your margins are set regardless of what the dealer fee is, okay? Regardless of what it is, your margins are already set. For this particular example, your margins is a dollar a watt and the dealer fee is a dollar 20 a watt, okay? Hopefully that clears up this misconception uh, in the industry. Uh, and if you're getting charged for the dealer fees, go talk to your boss about that, right? Uh, ideally, the homeowner pays for the dealer fees. So if you wanna dive in deeper and you wanna get in the solar industry, or maybe you already are in solar and you wanna learn how to sell solar virtually online in your pajamas, or you're a roofing or HVAC contractor that wants to add solar in your book of business, make sure to book your free solar strategy call. It's gonna be a pop-up right above this video. Other than that, have an amazing day. Goodbye for now. Peace.